Hello boys and girls, my name is Danny Mac, and in this video I'm going to talk to you about bendy bones. For an idea of what can be achieved with them, this rig by Daniel M. Lara is created almost entirely with bendy bones. Let's look at how bendy bones are usually set up. I have this cube which I want to rig with bendy bones. In object mode, I'll add an armature, and in the armature's properties, under viewport display, I'll make sure in front is checked so we can see it through our object. Now I'll scale the bone so it fits my object, and in edit mode I'll select the bone, right click, subdivide. Then I'll hit F9 and make the count 2. The middle bone will be my bendy bone, and the other bones will be controllers. Therefore for each of the control bones, come into the bone properties and uncheck deform. Rename the bones however you like, but I'll suffix the head controller in and the tail controller out, which will make more sense shortly. Then I'll scale the middle bone since obviously this will be doing the deformation. To differentiate the appearance of our control bones, in object mode press shift A, empty, sphere, and I'll move it off to the side. Now with the armature selected I'll control tab into pause mode and for each control bone I'll go to the bones properties tab, navigate to viewport display and set the custom object to be the empty. Play around with the scale if you need to and then I'll hide the control shape. Now in object mode, I'll select the object, shift select the armature and press ctrl P with automatic weight, which will skin the object to our bone. Now finally, let's make this middle bone bendy. In the armature properties, change the display type to B bone. You can use ctrl shift S to scale it if you need to. Now go to bone properties, bendy bones and turn up the segments. What we essentially have now is a bone that behaves like a curve, and the curve in parameters edits the handle at the head of the bone, whereas the curve out parameters edits the handle at the tail of the bone. If I go into pause mode you'll see what I mean, and I'll just add a subdivision surface to our cube to make it smoother. Now if I play with these parameters we get a really nice effect, but the great thing about it is that these parameters are also available in edit mode. And what this means is that if your object isn't straight to begin with, you can fit the bendy bone to match your object. But since our object is straight, let's undo that and properly set up our control bones since at the moment they don't do very much. First, unparent the bone out controller in edit mode by pressing Alt P, clear parent. Then in pause mode, select the bendy bone and in the bone constraints tab, add a stretch to constraint. Then set the target to be the armature and the bone to be bone out. You might need to reset the length. Then in the bone parameters tab, set the start and end handles to absolute and set the handle bones like so. Now go off and play because it's a lot of fun. If you enjoyed this tutorial please like the video and share it with your bendiest friend. Peace.